Third world parasite on the rise in U.S. South. It may be a disease that is typically associated with developing nations, but a new study has found that parasitic hookworms are plaguing the southern U.S. 34.5% of stool samples taken from Alabama's Louds County tested positive for a species of hookworm called Nicotor americanus. Households in the county are reportedly poor and lack basic sanitation, with waste often discarded in the backyard. Residents exposed to the raw sewage may become infected with hookworm, which enters the human body through the feet. The parasitic worm attaches itself to the walls of the small intestine, sucking the host's blood, which in turn causes anemia, weight loss, impaired mental function, and stunted growth in children. The disease is a problem even for those who can afford to install their own septic tanks. Sewage problems run rampant in Alabama's Black Belt region. The area's loamy soil prevents water from draining into the ground, and heavy rains often cause septic systems to overflow or back up. Parasitic infections like hookworm are treatable with medication, but unless sanitation conditions improve, people will simply become reinfected with the disease. Ew! Vet removes two huge fly larvae from kitten's body. Brace yourselves, Tomo fans. What's about to happen to this cat is not pretty at all. The video, shot on January 6th and released this week, shows a veterinarian using a surgical instrument to very carefully and gently pull out a couple of healthy looking Cudaribra, parasites whose eggs find their way onto the bodies of cute little animals by detecting heat. When they hatch, they then get cozy underneath the animal's skin and stay there for a little while. A delightful sight to behold, we know. Imagine being the cat. In case you're wondering, the larva will grow to roughly the size of the first joint of a person's thumb. Ew! After about a month, the Cuteriva larva then makes its way off the host, hops to the ground and pupates, becoming a full-fledged botfly. It's gross, yes, but you'll be happy to know the little kitty, though in obvious discomfort, is going to be just fine. No more creepy crawlies hiding in you, little one. Seven-year-old addicted to nail biting has pinworms in her anus. You know when your mom and dad tell you to go wash your hands before eating, but you don't really think your hands are all that dirty? Think again. You could have tiny, nearly invisible pinworm eggs under your fingernails. Pinworms are tiny worms that commonly infect the intestines, particularly of children. Pinworms are really small, about as long as a staple. They infect their host by getting in through the mouth, then the eggs pass through the digestive tract and hatch in the small intestine. The baby worm then grows up and moves out into the large intestine. The females will move to the very end of the large intestine and come out of the body at night to lay their eggs around the host's anus. A seven-year-old girl living in Fujian had a bad habit of nail biting and began complaining to her mother that her bottom itched. The mother used a flashlight to examine her daughter's anus and was shocked to see something wriggling around on the edges. Ah, the joys of parenthood. Anyway, she immediately took her daughter to the hospital. The doctor explained that since the pinworms came out late at night to lay their eggs around the girl's anus, she would often scratch her anus, then bite her nails, thus feeding the pinworms back into her system. The girl had quite a colony of wriggling pinworms living inside her by the time her mother brought her to the hospital. The doctor gave the girl some deworming medication and she should be worm-free within two weeks. Maybe now she'll wash her hands when her parents tell her to. Those of a nervous disposition, look away now. A British holiday maker is recovering from surgery after she came home from vacation with some unwanted souvenirs. The unnamed 46-year-old woman apparently picked up some nasty insect bites during a visit to the Ivory Coast. After 10 days in pain, she went to the hospital to get the source checked out. And that's when doctors realized she'd been infested with larvae from the parasitic tumbu fly. The female tumbu fly lays its eggs in soil or on damp clothes. Within about two days, the larvae hatch and wait for a chance to penetrate human skin. The larvae burrow into the subcutaneous tissue, usually on the back buttocks or backs of the limbs. Once inside, the parasites spend eight to 10 days feeding on the host. It's around about this point that most people notice something is up and seek medical attention. But not everyone. If left untreated, the fully developed larvae will eventually force its way out of the skin and fall to the ground. The larvae will then pupate to become a fly, ready to continue the life cycle of the species. Of course, most people can't stand the pain and will ask for help long before the maggots push out of their skin. <laughs> maggots. <laughs> 
The best way to avoid a tumbu fly infestation is by ironing clothes, because heat kills the larvae. Smearing oil or Vaseline over the sores starves the maggots of air and usually forces them to the surface. But in the British woman's case, the larvae refused to budge when doctors tried to squeeze them out. So they put her under local anesthetic and took the critters out surgically. The woman was treated with antibiotics and is now fully recovered from her ordeal. No word on where she'll be taking her next vacation, though. CDC warns diarrhea-inducing cryptoparasites on the rise in U.S. pools. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says outbreaks of a parasitic infection linked to swimming pools are increasing, and there have been twice as many outbreaks in 2016 as in 2014. Cryptosporidium, commonly known as crypto, is a microscopic parasite that causes the diarrheal disease cryptosporidiosis. Even in properly chlorinated water, it can survive up to 10 days. Swallowing just a mouthful of water with crypto can make healthy people sick for weeks. It can cause stomach cramps, nausea, diarrhea, and can lead to dehydration. The only way to get rid of the parasite is by treating the water with extremely high levels of chlorine that are dangerous for swimmers. Ohio was one of the states with the most reported cases. A total of 1,940 people fell ill due to the infection in 2016. Parasite cancer cells found in Colombian man is first known case of its kind. A Colombian man who developed multiple cancerous tumors containing DNA from a common parasite has baffled doctors in what has been termed the first known case of a parasite transmitting cancer to a human. The patient, a 41-year-old HIV sufferer with a compromised immune system, first visited his doctor in 2013, complaining of a fever, cough, and several months of weight loss. A CT scan revealed tumors in his lungs, liver, and lymph nodes. But upon closer examination, doctors found strange cells that multiplied rapidly like human cancer cells, but were up to 10 times smaller. Further tests revealed that the cells in fact contained DNA from the dwarf tapeworm H. nana. Centers for Disease Control researchers believe that tapeworms growing inside the man essentially got cancer, which then spread to his body, causing the tumors. It's unclear whether the tapeworm egg cells exhibited cancer-like properties before they entered the man's body, or whether they became cancerous following some kind of interaction between the parasite and the man's body. 